back to Kids Club Online Storytime. Today we're going to read Veggie Tales Puppies and Guppies. It's a story about being responsible. Taking care of pets is a big responsibility. But did you know that in the Bible there are lessons about everything in life? So keep a lookout and see if you can spot that Bible verse today. Veggie Tales Puppies and Guppies. Puppies and Guppies, story retold by Pamela Kennedy and Ann Kennedy Brady. Look, squealed Laura, Ichabezer got a dog. Larry and Laura bounded over to Ichabezer. Can we pet your dog? Please, please, please. Ichabezer frowned. Well, all right, but I'm in the middle of trying to teach him doggy manners. What kind is he? asked Laura. He's a Baruni olive hound, replied Ichabezer. I named him Rooney. Larry tossed the stick. Fetch Rooney. But Rooney was on a leash. Laura leaned over to pet him, and Rooney jumped up and down. He's so cute, Laura said. Oh, can I have him? Laura, puppies are a huge responsibility, Petunia warned. And they're expensive, added Bob. Besides, Ichabezer growled. This is my dog. You can get your own. Aw, whined Laura and Larry. No, you can get your own, Ichabezer said. My neighbor has more puppies looking for good homes. He does, cried Laura and Larry. Let's go. Not me, said Ichabezer, as he turned to leave with Rooney. I've got to take this puppy for a walk. Wait a minute, said Bob. Puppies are a lot of work. Larry, remember the last pet I got you? Poor thing. I will never forget the day I flushed him down the toilet, Larry said, looking sad. Besides, added Bob, you need money to take care of a puppy. You have to pay for shots and food and a leash and a collar. Laura piped up. I have four dollars in my piggy bank. How about you, Larry? I have 100 somethings, he said. Pennies, Larry, said Bob. You have 100 pennies. That's a dollar. Well, good luck, said Petunia. I have to go work at Pa Grapes. Hey, said Laura. We can work at Pa Grapes too and earn money for puppy supplies. Great idea, Larry agreed. Let's go. Laura and Larry burst into Pa Grape's store. Hey, Pa, can Larry and I work here? Laura asked. We need puppy supplies. Puppy supplies, asked Pa. Yeah, said Laura. Ichabezer told us we can get a puppy from his neighbor, but we still need stuff like food and shots and little bikes, if that's an option, interrupted Larry. Pa frowned. Puppies are a big responsibility. We know, said Laura and Larry. Hmm, tell you what, said Pa. If you both work hard for, for a week, you can earn the money for your supplies. Yay, we're going to get a puppy, a puppy, shouted Laura and Larry. Pa sighed and said to Petunia, I may regret this, but it's best to find out if they can take care of a guppy before they get a puppy. Petunia nodded. The next morning, Larry and La Laura bounced into the store. Here we are, sang Laura. Ready to work, added Larry. Pa said, here's a list of chores. Do 10 each day, and in a week, you'll finish the whole list. Larry read through the list. Sweeping, mopping, dusting. Oh, and one more thing, said Pa. These are my pet guppies. If you take good care of them all week, you'll earn your puppy supplies. Laura grinned. Easy sneezy lemon squeezy. Yeah, cheesy wheezy queasy, added Larry. Good, said Pa. If you can take care of the guppies, maybe you can graduate to puppies. Laura looked at Larry. I'll sweep you mop. Larry laughed. I'll swap and, and I'll, you swap and I'll meep. <laughs> Larry and Laura each grabbed a broom. But before long, they were dancing around the store. At the end of the day, they left without feeding the guppies. Every day, Larry and Laura came to the shop, but they didn't do any work. They played games and pretended they were puppies. Every night, Pa Grape fed the guppies. On Friday, Pa, pa called Larry and Laura to his counter. When was the last time you fed my guppies? Laura said, um, maybe Larry did. Larry thought hard. I offered them water one day. Pa Grape put some money on the counter. Larry and Laura exclaimed, Our puppy money! 
Yes, that's the amount you need to buy puppy supplies. Then put Pa took away all but one dollar. This, however, is what you earned. But that's not enough, moaned Laura. I trusted you to take care of these guppies. How'd you do? Pa asked. Not so good, sighed Laura. I was a bad guppy daddy, added Larry. Now don't lose hope, Pa Grape said. You can still afford a fishbowl and some food. You mean for our very own guppies, Larry asked. Then Larry noticed a label on the side of the jar and read it. Luke 1610, whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. Which means, added Pa, that whoever can be trusted with guppies may one day be trusted with puppies. I could train a mind to do tricks, said Larry. Mine could be my GFF, guppy friend forever, said Laura. Thanks, Pa. They grabbed the jar and left the shop. We're going to be the best guppy parents ever. The end. Boy, they sure learned a lesson in responsibility. Make sure you check out Luke 1610, and we'll see you next time.